LeBron James is by far the best basketball player in the world. You would think, if you want to win titles, you probably want to play alongside him, right? Well, for some reason, that might not be the case. Let me explain. What's going on basketball fans, my name is Josh and I am back with another video. For the longest time, the narrative was always, if you want a chance to win, you better play with LeBron James. Since LeBron was in Cleveland the first time, we saw a good amount of players go there and try to team up with him. Once he got to Miami, it was more of the same. He went there with Chris Bosh and joined Dwayne Wade, and a bunch of former All-Star vets like Ray Allen and Richard Lewis joined the team as well. We saw players team up with LeBron in hopes of chasing rings. But that whole narrative took a hit back in 2017 when Kyrie Irving requested a trade from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kyrie's reason on why he didn't want to play with LeBron was because he wanted to be the guy. He wanted to have his own team and be the leader of his own franchise. I'm a big Kyrie fan, but you gotta admit, the guy's ego is pretty big. But Kyrie wasn't the only star who turned down the opportunity to play with LeBron James. This last summer, Paul George had the opportunity to sign in LA before LeBron did, but instead, he stayed in OKC and signed his contract the night before LeBron made his decision. Now I listened to a podcast with David McMenamin about LeBron's free agency, and he said that he knew that LeBron was going to LA about a week before it was even announced. So if reporters knew a week before, you get the feeling that Paul George probably knew as well. And if Paul George knew that LeBron was going to LA, he had the opportunity to join him, but he didn't. Maybe he values playing in a small market, rather than in his hometown. Or maybe he wants to play with Russell Westbrook over LeBron James. But no matter what the case is, he decided not to team up with LeBron. Along with Paul George, it was reported that Kawhi Leonard is also hesitant to play with LeBron James. Shams Trainer reported that Kawhi Leonard is more likely to play with the Clippers than the Lakers. And his reason for that is that Kawhi wants to be the man and he wants to be the head of a franchise. Now that brings me to Jimmy Butler, the fourth star on this list, who if he really wanted to, could team up with LeBron next summer. A couple days ago, he requested a trade and he gave the Timberwolves a list of teams that he wants to go to. And when you look through that list, you realize that the Lakers are not on it. Wolves reported that Butler once wanted to play for the Lakers, but after LeBron arrived, the Lakers are so much less appealing than they were just a couple of months ago. So that is four of probably the top 15 players in the league who did or potentially turned down the opportunity to play with the best basketball player of this generation. But why? I mean, don't these guys want to win? Well, I think the biggest reason why guys don't want to play with LeBron is because deep down, they really don't want to win. Some NBA players just have such a big ego, but at some point you have to realize that you aren't going to win by yourself. If you take a look at every single team that has won a championship in NBA history, most of those teams have at least two or three all-stars. And now we are in an era of the NBA where we have a team like the Golden State Warriors. In case you forgot, they have five all-stars from last year. But yet guys like Jimmy Butler who claims that he wants to win, doesn't want to play with LeBron James? It doesn't make any sense to me. Winning definitely isn't one of their priorities. I mean, the dude wants to go to Brooklyn for crying out loud. And same goes for Paul George. The guy believes he can win a title with Russell Westbrook. But let's be honest here, Russell Westbrook or LeBron James? If you had to choose one guy, to take you to the promised land, who are you going to choose? Now with Kyrie Irving, it clearly shows that winning wasn't his biggest intention. I really don't know what Kyrie Irving wants. I mean, I don't know if he wants to be the guy. I don't know if he wants to win. I don't know if he wants to get paid. With Kyrie Irving, his motive is all over the place. I mean, in case you forgot, the only guy who has led his team past the Warriors in the last four seasons is none other than LeBron James. James Harden got close. Westbrook got close with Durant back in 2016, but neither of them were able to get the job done. It was only LeBron. But we'll see what happens with guys like Jimmy Butler and Kawhi Leonard 
we'll see if their motives change because next summer there are a ton of nba players who are going to be entering free agency and we'll see who really wants to win but for now lebron's on a team with some great young talent like lonzo ball brandon ingram kyle kuzma and josh hart and we'll see we'll see if any of these guys end up joining lebron next summer but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below this is definitely a very interesting conversation because the narrative always used to be that if you want to win teaming up with lebron was your best opportunity the guy has been to eight straight finals and is one of the greatest to ever do it but now you got guys who claim they want to win but yet want to go play in brooklyn like i just don't understand but that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like hit that subscribe button for more nba content I'll see you guys soon. Till next time. Peace. We've been out here chasing paper like a newsprint. Don't you come around my section cause we really do this. No more phony people in my circle cause we moved it. Been on another